Good morning, everybody. I know you can't see much. We're in Nipigon, Ontario. And this guy blocked me in. Parked right in front of me. Pulled his curtains. I have to go wake him up and tell him to move. I need to get out of here. I got a truck right beside me here. And he's blocking me off there. The sun is blinding me over there and I need to get moving. So we've pretty much just driven one day through Northern Ontario. I want to show you what it, what I mean when I say it's impossible to keep these trucks clean, especially driving through Northern Ontario here. So look at this. You ready? That's from London, Ontario to Thunder Bay, Ontario. And I still have about eight hours to go. That's what I mean. Very hard to keep it clean in wintertime, but summertime's coming. That's our load. 
three layers like I was explaining yesterday. Each layer is tied down on its own. And plus there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over the top holding everything down together. So we got, they're about 15,000 pounds each. So we got straps over the bottom holding that down. The second layer holding that down and then the third layer. They wanted no chains on this load because it would damage the steel. So we made it work. Walk around to here with you for a little bit. And to be honest, I don't know how I would chain it anyways. I mean, I, I could. I'd have to put a lot of uh, chain protection over it, like rugs and carpet and stuff to make sure the chains don't damage it. And I told them I could do that. I could make sure that it doesn't get damaged. But they said, nope, absolutely no chains on their freight. Okay, this works too. This works just fine. It's 11 foot 8 wide, so not quite 12 feet. You can't really see much on this side because the sun is blocking all of our light, but... We better get going. I gotta get out of Ontario before the sun sets. My permits in Ontario only allow me to drive during daylight hours. Obviously because it's a two lane highway. Manitoba I can drive at night. So as long as I get to the Manitoba border before the sun goes down, we're golden. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to adjust that convex mirror. I stopped here to uh, adjust my mirrors a little bit and tighten them. Uh, these bottom two convex mirrors were getting a little wiggly on me, making me a little nervous, so I stopped and just gave the bolts just a little extra, mm, little oomph, and just tighten them up just a bit, just to make sure I wouldn't want them falling off. <laughs> it's happened. Great. Continue on this road for 641 kilometers. What road, Karen? I'm, I'm not on the road. We're not home yet. You shouldn't be drinking yet. Crazy. You'd lead me right off a cliff if I didn't double check you, wouldn't you? I don't know, I don't trust you. 656 kilometers left to our yard where I'm just gonna drop this trailer and leave it all tied down, all flagged and signed. They want it delivered Tuesday in Brandon, Manitoba. Like I said yesterday, I'm hoping a city driver will be able to be available to deliver that for me because I want to be at an appointment, a prenatal appointment with Britt Tuesday morning. So we're trying to find someone who can deliver it for me from our yard. Uh, if not, that's okay. The load's my responsibility then and I'll deliver it. That's why I'm going to leave it tied down. We can just hook onto it. And if someone else does it, well, they can just bring back my equipment and uh, leave it somewhere for me so that before I leave on my next trip, I can pick it up. It doesn't always work to have a, a city guy deliver your loads. Uh, they're very busy, very busy. So we'll see what we can, uh, we'll see what they can do. Okay, man, it's cold outside. All right, we wanna get back on the road going that way. I see a truck in my mirror. Are you turning in that driveway, bud? Oh yeah, it looks like it. What's he doing? He's just stopped on the, oh, he's turning left, I see. I see him in my little convex mirror down there. I gotta turn around and go that way. I don't wanna block the driveway if they're trying to get in here, you know? Now that my mirrors are adjusted, I can see a little better. So that's Highway 102. We came from there. Oh, and now we're behind a convoy of three trucks. I hope that they're, uh, Diligent, speedy drivers that aren't gonna get in my way. Off we go. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the filthy road. A filthy road will lead us to a filthy place, right? Also known as Manitoba. <laughs> ah, yes. I love my home. Manitoba. The province everyone always forgets exists. Hi, we're here. But you know, the people in Manitoba, we're kind of okay with that, I think. We like the peace and quiet. 
I don't want to be a Toronto. I like being a flyover, you know, then all the <laughs> all the hipsters and stuff they can fly from Toronto over top of me to Vancouver or Edmonton. And I can just enjoy my solitude and my peace and quiet in my tiny little town. But we call it a city.
with the officer and drop my paperwork off in there and I go inside the yard drop this trailer leave it all secured just put it in the yard unhook and book it back to my shop and get old blue into the warmth it's starting to get cold again it's minus 22 and a half minus 23 Celsius right now and it's supposed to go down to minus 32 very soon so I'd like to get uh, get old blue inside as soon as possible It's dirty. <laughs> Thought it was dirty when we left. Man, yikes. Old blue. At least you're warm now, right? I mean, are you still old blue under there or should we start calling you old white? It's crazy, right? It's too cold to wash, it, wash the truck outside and I can't just wash it in here. I'd have to push all that water out of here. And uh, it's just too cold right now. <laughs> and I drove it in this time instead of backing it in. Trying something new, see how I like it. And right now I kinda actually like it because I have lots of room to move around back here, get around the truck. And over here, like you saw when I was on this side here, lots of room to open the hood yet. Whereas I used to always back up right up to this line here. And then it would sort of like cramp up this area back here when I backed in backwards. And then I could just barely get my hood open at the front. And sometimes I didn't back in far enough and then I couldn't get the hood open at all. I would just hit the door. I'd have to back the truck up. This might work better. I'm gonna try it out see how I like it. Look at how thick it is on. This is what Northern Ontario does, man. Let's check the back room. Some of these tanks, they're supposed to be like mirrors so that you can see yourself in them. Can you see yourself? I mean, here's a little piece that, well, you can sort of see yourself there. Just crazy. Those are supposed to be mirrors too. It is what it is, right? We'll clean her off. We'll go do it again. So this is a piece that my sister Cheryl made for us. And our house is too small to hang it anywhere in the house. We got this as a wedding present for her. See, it says Joshua and Brittany Giesbrecht down there with like a family tree. 
it took a lot of work and effort, right? And I wanted to display it somewhere, but our house is too small. So I hung it up in here, but now I'm beginning to think, I don't want it to get dirty. It's like a white, white cloth. I don't want it to accidentally get dirty because when we, one day when we have a bigger house, maybe hang it up there. Maybe we'll have a nice spot for it. So I think I'm gonna take it down and put it away just to keep it safe. I don't want to wreck it. This mattress needs to go to the dump. <laughs> uh, a lot to get done. It's been very busy though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, I have two garbage bags here. I put one on each side and I'm gonna put it over there with our house stuff. That way I don't have to worry about this getting dirty. I feel so bad if I wrecked it. I've been hanging up for a while anyways. My mom said that too. Uh, she came to the shop here a few weeks ago. She saw it there and she warned me like, oh, it might get dirty there, you know? Yeah, yeah. I thought about it, I guess she's right. Not safe up there. Not in a shop. One day we'll have a oops, more space. Where's the? Where's this? What is this? What's going on? Hot and burning. Garbage bags playing mind games on me. There we go. Is it big? Is it big enough? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Do so. Ah, <sighs> so that's it. We're home for a couple of days, and uh, we'll be we'll be back at it before you know it. So there's some home time videos coming, and we'll uh, see you in our next video. Don't forget to hit the notification button beside the subscribe button, and the subscribe button. Hit those both. That way you'll be notified when my next video goes live. I'll see you later.